News. Katie, thank you. Now to the day this morning marks 13 years since that shooting at Superbike Motorsports. You can just imagine it has been a long time coming for the families of the four killed in 2003. 7 News reporter Brianna Smith talked to some of them overnight, getting their reaction to the new news. Four pictures and 13 years of wonder. We found out today what I'm about to tell you. But now the wondering is over and video of crime scene tape strewn across a motorcycle repair shop in Chesney is being replayed. We signed four warrants on Todd Callup today with a confession that he did this crime. As deputies walk Todd Colehep over his 100 acres, the sheriff's office says he confessed to killing Chris Sherbert, Scott Ponder, Brian Lucas, and Beverly Guy. Can't even imagine what the victim's families have been going through. I I can't. Those family members still in shock over the news from deputies that Todd Kolhep was a Superbike customer in 2003 and that he took away a chance for four people to see their loved ones again. All this unraveling, you know, eight miles down the road and come out 13 years later that someone 10 miles up the road the other way, my brother was killed by the same person. That he's been walking in our community all these years? All these years. We, we're just, we're overwhelmed right now and Super, just grateful, and and I know that um, Scott is relieved for us. That relief has been a long time coming. Year after year, sketches came out, leads were followed, and remembrance services were held. And there was hope. This is the first time in 13 years that I have been able to tell you I've got a bit of optimism, a little bit of hope. And now they look for healing. And I went to his grave on our way home from, from Woodruff a moment ago and told him, you know, you know it, was, it was closure finally. Brianna Smith, 7 News. We are expecting Todd Colehab to have a bond hearing at 8 o'clock this